we have usually seen that once a student uh, they start working like the whole system it changes right uh, you need to work for 10 to 12 hours maybe 8 hours whatever is the work schedule and it gets difficult to manage papers along with job so provide a piece of advice to all the uh, young working professionals like how they can uh, balance both um, so as I said, uh, create your own routine that works best for you. Um, identify the time that works best for you, whether it's morning or night and uh, stick to that routine. Um, uh, prepare a plan in adva advance and stick to it and uh, try to leverage your weekends. Um, that would be the uh, days when you get good amount of time to cover up on whatever is remaining. And I personally never had to compromise on my social life or anything because of that. But definitely uh, in the days leading up to the exam, you might have to skip out on a couple of parties. But uh, apart from that, I think it's manageable if you are consistent and disciplined that way. So uh, yeah, try to um, start early so that you don't have to keep things up for the last minute. That really helped me. Uh, like some of the fields where uh, uh, like students, they can start looking out for jobs, those who are in their third year. Uh, can you please uh, guide on the fields where uh, we can work uh, as an actual analyst? So con conventionally the insurance fields are um, obviously there, general insurance, life insurance or even pensions for that matter. And uh, the, uh, recently actuarials have started venturing into the unconventional ones as well such as banking, um, climate change, uh, capital uh, modeling and uh, all of those data science that is quite intensive on um, all of these areas. And I think if whenever like you start looking for a job, uh, uh, please leverage LinkedIn. It's it's a very good platform. I, I got my first uh, opportunity through LinkedIn itself. Um, do start networking early on, and these it, the networking really helps. Maintain an active profile and reach out to your um, seniors, peers, HRs. I think um, LinkedIn is definitely a great platform. Okay, so there is a term uh, like overqualified. So, uh, what is your take of the term overqualified and uh, do you feel that clearing major papers in college helped you to uh, speed up your process of becoming a fellow? Definitely. Um, I had um, taken around um, seven exams, uh, cleared seven exams in college itself. Uh, before I landed my first job and uh, during my time there was this thing of uh, being overqualified but thankfully I never listened to it and went on to clear the exams uh, because now there's no such thing. People are um, clearing um, all the exams in five years, even lesser than that. So now there's definitely no such thing as overqualified and the way I see it, the earlier you clear your exams, the faster you move on to the higher level exams with work and the faster you get those increments as well, uh, the higher level increments and the sooner you become a uh, qualified actuary, you get that degree which also helps to accelerate your career. Okay, so you haven't taken training for all the exams, you have taken training for very few exams. So what piece of advice uh, you would give to all the students, those who are doing self-study, maybe uh, like uh, uh, what what plan they, they should opt for or what is your strategy to self-study for a particular course? So um, self-study is definitely um, difficult in the sense that uh, uh, you have to do all the things on your own. Um, there's, uh, there's no like a fixed person you can always reach out to if you need to solve any particular doubts or anything. But, uh, but I think um, uh, definitely uh, Say you have already cleared a couple of exams, then you know the study strategy, what works, uh, how you can answer the questions, how much to write, you know all of that. So that knowledge you can obviously leverage from your past papers. In terms of study, obviously you will have to put in more efforts uh, since you, uh, you have to understand the concepts on your own and uh, build it into your answers. So uh, uh, definitely you are supposed to devote more time, so plan accordingly. Uh, uh, and. Uh, even then I think these days quite a few resources are available online so you can leverage that and uh, even from IFOA they have flashcards and other resources available so you can leverage all of that to help with your self-study.